Okay, the bottom end on that is so deep it's making my ears bleed. <laughs> All right, we've just crossed the river and there's a uh, whole bunch of street food stalls are sitting up. So let's go see what they've got to offer. Vietnamese, Thai, Amok. Okay, fruit shakes, Khmer and Thai. Okay. With the barbecue, the same all together. Yeah, it looks very nice. I think we're going to try this one. So we were heading into town to try one of the restaurants there. Okay. But while we were walking along the river, past all these little street food stores, we kind of got sidetracked, so we're going to eat here. Loads of choices, it looks really good too. Some of it smells amazing. Um, any possible downside for some of you is that these little tables and chairs are freaking tiny. I've got a pretty narrow ass, but... <laughs> Mine's not fits as well. But we fit. <laughs> We're not... <laughs> are we saddlebagging these chairs? We're not quite saddlebagging the chairs? No. Yeah, we hanging over like... That. Never mind. We're good. Digging in here, we've got some uh, fried morning glory and a bit of pork and rice. It smells amazing. Big bits of chili. Big bits of chili. Big bits of chili. <laughs> First bite. Straight in. Oh no. Oh. time I'm ready for it. <laughs> so it's been almost 14 years since I was here last. It has grown somewhat but uh, this place is still cooler than the other side of the pillow mate. The food is so good you probably want to marry it and the people are so nice they make unicorns jealous they haven't even been to Angkor yet and they're like the OG Instagram filters of Asia but right now we're eating mate <laughs> Do the chili dance, yeah. <laughs> My goodness. So she gets a bit busy down by the river. It looked like though that we were the only tourists eating here. That's that's uh, your loss, guys. The food was awesome, and it cost like four bucks. I think our drinks were the most expensive because they're uh, fully imported from Thailand. 